everyone, this is Tyler from Craft and Tailored, and in this episode of Under the Radar, I'm going to be talking about a 1969 Breitling Chronomatic reference 2110 from 1969. And as we know from Breitling, they are best well known for their chronographs. They made incredible chronographs from the Navitimer to the Cosmonaut to the Top Time to the Detora and of course the Chronomatic. And what I love about the Chronomatic is not only are its dial details and its case details very, very good looking and, and legible and super functional, but the movement that's in the watch has a really incredible story as well. So the Cal 11 is an automatic chronograph movement and it's one of the first to be produced. And this watch being from 1969, it's the direct result of this sort of race between a couple of different manufacturers to produce the first automatic chronograph movement. And those companies are, you know, Zenith with the El Primero, very iconic movement, Seiko with the 6139 movement seen in like the Pogue and a couple of other chronographs that they produced during that era. And then there is the Caliber 11, which is a joint effort between Hoyer, Breitling, and Hamilton, I believe. The Cal 11 is a super iconic movement. It's seen in a lot of different watches, including, you know, Hoyer Octavia's to the Hoyer Monaco, and then also being used in the Breitling Chronomatic. What I think is so incredible about this watch is you see these Hoyers going for, you know, eight to nine to 10 to 12, to sometimes $15,000, whereas this watch is at a much lower price point. And I don't know if it has to do with the Breitling name, but I think that the way that these watches are constructed is actually really impressive. And the way that they wear is also very impressive. So I think that they only have a lot of room to grow as people kind of pick up on these watches because this watch is, is fantastic to wear and the dial details are, are super unique to Breitling. So what you'll notice first with Caliber 11 chronograph watches is the layout of the case is traditionally a little bit different than what we're used to seeing in chronograph watches, being that the crown is actually on the left side of the case. And this is seen in, you know, like the Hoyer Monaco and also the Octavia, but here in the Chronomatic, it definitely does create a different sort of feel to the watch that is, you know, unique for Breitling, which would have traditionally used like a Valju or a Venus base movement. This is a lot different, uh, I just think for the Breitling brand and it's kind of like in its own category, but it does make the watch a lot more comfortable to wear, especially I think this has to do with Hoyer's involvement in their more automotive based chronographs, uh, being that if the crown was on the other side of the case, it would make it a lot more comfortable for the functionality of the chronograph while your hands would be resting on a steering wheel. And in this case, it definitely improves sort of like the funkiness and like the cool factor of this Breitling. And it makes for a really functional layout. You know, the ease of use of these watches is just really nice. With this watch, it's it's not like the smallest watch in, in the world. It's actually 41 millimeters, but it, it wears very comfortably. It's not like a large watch by any means. Um, it, it is slightly taller, but you can't really notice it on wrist. It, it feels how a sports watch should feel. And it has the dial details that kind of like back that up with, you know, the, the red accents and the right subdial to the orange hands and sort of like those blocky subdial hands with the white face and the black subdials, kind of like a panda esque sort of layout. All in all, it's a really classic sport watch layout that is unique onto itself, that lends itself to ease of legibility. It's just a really easy watch to read and time things on. And I think a lot of people don't realize that the Cal 11 is uh, being utilized in this watch and it's just w one of the most incredible movements ever made and being that it's a micro rotor and being that it's a, a super accurate and very complex chronograph movement lends itself to being a really under the radar watch something that you know it is definitely a lot of bang for your buck especially considering like the other Cal 11 alternatives that you know, are, are so much higher in price. And that makes, in my opinion, these watches kind of sleepers in a way, if that makes sense. As far as, you know, Breitling chronographs go, this is definitely one of my favorites and it's been one of my favorites to wear. 
This Breitling Chronomatic is for sale on our website at craftandtailor.com. So we will leave a link in the description below for you to check out a little bit more on it. With that, I wanna say thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content just like this. Follow us on Instagram, at Craft and Tailored. And if you have watch questions, we are here to help. You can drop us a line at info at craftandtailored.com. We'll see you in the next one.